guys thanks for watching so i feel like i haven't explained how i do my knotless partner in a while i do have a few older videos in it but i'll just do it again so what i do is i place my crochet needle underneath the braid and then i open the latch hook i then place the piece of hair on the hook i then close the latch hook and then i pull the needle underneath or slide it underneath the braid again and then by now you can see that it makes a loop you can make a loop with your thumb and your index finger then you're going to take the strand of hair that's closest to the loop place the other hair aside and then just tie a few knots I think I tied about looks like I'm tying about five yeah so tie about four to five knots it depends on the texture of hair you're using this texture is quite silky so I did quite a few knots and then I just tighten it and that's it and then I just repeat the same process throughout the whole thing including the actual installation as well If you're used to watching my videos then you'll know I usually interweave that single plait into the other braids at the back but what that does is it creates a bulky look at the back especially if the hair you're using is straight. This hair is curly so it won't look bulky regardless but I'm just showing you what you can do to prevent that. So what I'm doing is just um, crocheting the single plait to a cane row alongside one cane row so that it can lay flat. This is a Chucky Beat production. This is a Chucky Beat production. I'm just doing the usual process I do for the installation so I leave gaps the size of the width of my finger um, just so that the hair's not too full and I also use the same knotless technique throughout and that's it really the fuller you want it the more hair you put in the less full you want it the less hair you put in but I wouldn't advise you to uh, make it too sparse because what happens is the hair kind of goes down in volume as it gets older then it will begin to look sparse and empty if you don't put enough at the start
Now I'm just cutting slight layers like I always do. You can choose to leave it as it is because it looks pretty fine as it is but I like to kind of frame the face a bit more. So I'm just cutting shorter layers at the front to make it kind of suit her face a bit more and I also cut a slight fringe which you'll see in a minute. 